Hello, another gun that I'll be offering up out of my collection is this rare uh, 1922 Springfield M2. Uh, 1922 was the date of the design. The um, M2 actually started to be produced in 1933 as they refined the design. Um, this gun is in beautiful condition. Uh, the wood on this is basically near perfect. A couple small dents here. Um, it may have been refinished at some point. Uh, if it was, it could have been an arsenal refinish. I mean, it's in very, very good shape. And I am not an expert, but uh, I will do a close-up video, video, and you can form your own opinions on uh, whether the wood was refinished or not. But again, the wood is in, in absolutely beautiful shape. Uh, the metal also is in really good shape. Uh, no pitting. The um, um, white metal here of the bolt uh, is in perfect shape. No pitting, nice and shiny. These guns are quite rare. Uh, they fire a 22 long round. They're a very heavy gun and they're noted for their superb accuracy and they're highly desirable to collectors. Uh, this gun here, again, I suspect that perhaps uh, the, the barrel was refinished. Again, I'm not 100% sure, but you can, uh, again, take a look at the video and, and form your own opinion. Uh, there obviously was a scope here at one time. It was drilled, uh, actually two different scopes. It's been drilled and then uh, the scope removed and uh, screws put in their, in their place. Um, the markings on the gun are pristine and in um, keeping with the uh, M2, those of you that are collectors are familiar. It has the SA on the top of the barrel. There's the flaming bomb. And below that is the date of manufacture, which is September of 1938. So this gun came, was manufactured in 1938. Uh, these were the guns that uh, trained the uh, combatants for World War II. They, again, they're 22 long. And uh, the uh, actions on these are very, very smooth. And um, again, uh, this gun, is an exceptionally good condition. Uh, the bore is nice and clean. The rifling is strong. It looks to have had very little use. I myself have never fired it. It's a collectible. And uh, also coming with this gun will be the clip. I apologize, I do not have the clip out here with me, but I do have a clip for it. There are uh, aftermarket clips out there in the 60 to $70 range. And if you go on the web boards, there is arguments whether they're um, uh, whether they're reliable or not. I have not owned one. The clip that I have is actually an original, uh, for, uh, original M2 clip, and which is they're very hard to find. And if you do find one, you're looking at 150 to 200 dollars for the clip alone. So please consider that when you're bidding on this gun. It will come with an original M2 clip. Uh, from the uh, 20s and oh, actually it'd be the 30s is when the M2 came out. So uh, again, if you buy this gun, I think you'll be extremely happy with it. It has again all the all the Springfield um, markings on it, all the stampings, uh, the original sight, and uh, the metal is in beautiful condition as is the wood. So um, I'll be uh, listing it at a, a pretty reasonable starting price and happy bidding.